you won't even believe how simple and effective this is. This is a game changer. Let's get into it. All right, so today what I want to talk about is a very simple change that you can make to your website or something you should definitely be paying attention to where it could literally take you minutes to do this change, sometimes seconds depending on the situation, and you can see many pages of movement within a week or two. So I have clients all the time that come in and they have these little things that are off with their website do little changes and they think that I'm performing magic because they don't get the concept of SEO of what's important and what's not really important. Most people have this huge list of things that are important. You know, you have like the 200 ranking factors for SEO, so they don't know where to put their focus. Really, there's like a few major things you need to focus on. Now, what we're going to talk about today is some on-page stuff. And I'm going to show you my exact process for doing this and how you can implement this on your own sites and your client sites as well. And it can really make a big difference. So I have a multi-billion dollar company right now that I'm doing SEO for. And I did this process on their website. They were back on like page five for like the, a major term in their niche. And after doing what I'm about to show you in this video, they moved up to page two within like two weeks to a month. And they were on page one within a couple months. So it can happen very quickly. And that was for a huge term. For smaller terms, I've seen movement within like a week, uh, even a few days at times. So this is something that's extremely effective. Most people look over it because of how simple it is. But... This is, this is unbelievably effective if you know how to do this correctly. And we're going to go through the whole process here. So I'm going to do an example here for best electronic cigarette. I was kind of chose a random term to do this on. This is a niche that I used to be in. So I'm just going to use this one and I'll show you exactly how I look at this and how I, I go about this whole process. Before we go into that, you need to understand my most important on-page factors and why they're important. This is extremely important, right? I know this is... You may look at this as me going off the rails a little bit as far as getting off topic, but this is very on topic. It's extremely important that you understand the why behind this because then that's going to give you more confidence in the move and it's going to actually help you do the move, right? It's going to force you to start doing this more often because it is so effective. So the most, most important on-page factors, the top three by far, number one is keywords in domain. That's the most powerful on-page factor you can have, okay? And we'll talk about this more in just a second. Number two is keywords in the title and URL. Number three is keywords in HTAG. So let's talk about why these things are important. So why is keyword in domain the most important thing? Because a domain is cannot be changed. Once you get a domain and it, you have that domain, it cannot be changed. That's your domain name, right? Now, it starts out as a pretty powerful factor, right? It's kind of powerful, but... It increases in power, as do these other things, as you build authority. And if you think about this, well, links are votes of confidence, right? As you get links in, that's people saying this website is credible. Well, the more people that are saying that, let's say a thousand different domains out there pointing at my website saying this is a very credible website. Well, if they're saying that and you have a particular keyword in your domain, that is a lot of credit for that keyword because all these websites are saying, yeah, this is a really good website and they have this keyword in the domain. That's why it's so powerful. Now, obviously, most of you can't change that, right? We can't do anything with that, but it's still important that you understand why keyword and domain is so important. It's something that can't be changed. And as people are sending in links to your website and voting it to be a good website and relevant for the topic that you're you're covering. Well, if a keyword is in your domain, you're very relevant for that keyword topic, right? That's how Google looks at this. Same thing with title and URL, or I'm sorry, title, URL, and H tags. Now, title and URL are like tied for number two. Those are, I would say, you know, somewhat similar. I might put title a little ahead, but they're, they're very similar. And then H tags would be after that. So why are these things so important? You, you may look at this and be like, you know, I usually teach the things that are hard to manipulate are the things that work the best with Google. But when it comes to title, URL, and H tags, the thing is, remember these things really start being more effective as you get more links, just like the domain. Well, if you have, let's say, 100 different websites linking to a page about a topic you're on, why would you not have the most important keywords in your title and URL? Why would you not have the most important keywords in your H tags, which is the big text on your page? Those are like the highlights of your page, right? These are the highlights. 
why would you try to game Google if hundreds of people are linking to this page saying it's credible and it's it's a good you know it's good content and it's it's very relevant to what they were searching for. The keywords are going to be in the most important places, the title, the URL, and the H tags. That's just the way it works. So that's why having the right keywords in these places is extremely important. Now, now that we understand that, know that you know keywords in content, like the actual content, isn't that important, right? Like your keyword density and all that. If anything, you want to under optimize when it comes to that because it's just not super important. I could have a page about electronic cigarettes. I could talk about how my cat ate my electronic cigarette and the page is totally irrelevant to cats. But if I just have that text in my, in my regular text where it's not highlight, it's not my title, it's not my domain, it's not my URL, it's not my H tags, it's a very small thing. I'm never gonna rank for that page for anything that had to do with cats, right? So that's why your small text or your regular text on your page is, doesn't do much for you. And I always recommend, if anything, kind of under optimize that, okay? But let's go into this. Let's show you this process. So let's search for best electronic cigarette. Now, knowing what we know, we're going to pay attention to the keywords in the right places. And of course, we got to, we got to pay attention to authority too. Now, if we scroll down here, the first website is ecigarettedirect.co.uk. We notice that they have e-cigarette in the domain name. They have 10 best vape, vape brands for 2025 as their title. Okay, and they have about 6,500 referring domains with 14 going to this page. So it's interesting they chose this title because there's nothing about best electronic cigarette in there. It's actually best vape brands. What this tells me, kind of my initial uh, finding here, is that likely they like LSI keywords and titles for this particular niche. And just because they like it in this niche doesn't mean they like it in other niches. Sometimes it switches. One thing I did see with the March Core update was they do seem to, they're, they're seeming to start liking more LSI and titles with the, with the Core update, all right? But that, that's a whole totally different topic there. It doesn't mean it's going to happen in every niche. That's why when you are doing a niche, you need to research that specific niche because it, it can differ from niche to niche as far as what they're looking for. But so far, they don't have electronic cigarette exactly in here. They have vape brands instead, and they're ranking number one. And of course, they got e-cigarette in their domain, which is really helping them. But we want to consider all this. We're mainly looking to structure our H tags and titles. So far, my titles, I like I like this right here, something like this. Just looking at the first one. So let's go to number two. Number two is the best e-cigarette vapes. Okay, so these guys have vaping in their domain name. They got 15,000 referring domains, 220 to the page. And their title is the best e-cigarette vapes. Again, we have vapes in the title. So that's pretty interesting, right? And they have e-cigarette instead of electronic cigarette. Isn't that interesting, right? That's an LSI keyword, e-cigarette for electronic cigarette, not the exact keyword that we're searching for. Pretty interesting. So let's go to number three here. Uh, who do we got? So the, these guys, we got xbar.co. Which electronic cigarette is best for quitting smoking? Interesting, because these guys actually don't have a keyword in their domain name, and they only have 310 referring domains with no links going to the page. That tells me something really important here. That tells me Google really likes this page for some reason. So guess what? When you find a page like this that's ranking really well with low links, low authority, and they don't even have a keyword in the domain, when you see something like this, you really want to pay attention to their own page. So let's actually go to their own page. Now, if we scroll down here, we're going to see their own page actually sucks. Okay, like they have no design. That like it's ugly. Uh, there's not much content here, but this tells me they have the right keywords in the right places. Likely, when I'm writing my article for the best electronic cigarette, I'm going to structure it around exactly what they did here. So this website is going to be my guide for my on-page content. Now, I'll probably use their almost like exact H tags, right? So maybe my first H tag will be why I use an electronic cigarette to quit smoking, and then how to choose the right electronic cigarette to quit. So it'll be something very similar to each of their H tags. And then of course my content will be completely different, but I'll structure it in the same way. I'll do a better, more well-written article with more images, more videos and things like that. But likely I'm going to structure my content around this page right here because Google really likes this and it's not even a good page. Likely what they what they really like about this page is they'd have the right keywords in the right places. So that's why I structure my page or my H tags around what this website did right here, this web page did right here. Let's keep scrolling down. Uh, number four is a guide to different types of e-cigarettes and vapes. Again, right? Again, vape and domain name, e-cigarettes instead of electronic cigarette, and vapes also in the in the title. Okay. 
Okay, right here, we got ePuffer. Uh, and they had 2,700 referring domains, none to the page. Uh, next one, ePuffer. ePuffer vape pods, e-cigs, e-cigars, e-pipes, e and e-liquids. Again, electronic cigarette, not in the title. You got LSI versions in there, and they have vape in there again. Google really likes LSI and the word vape in the title for the sites that are ranking well. So let's scroll down here again. Number six, Ego Electronic Cigarette Vase for Sale, Best Ego e -cig. Okay, so they do have Electronic Cigarette and Best in there, but it's not together. Okay, so it is spread out in their number six. Uh, and then they have Vaping in their domain name. Google really likes the word Vaping in this niche, so I would highly recommend getting that in your title. These, these guys, e-cigarettes, vapes, again, right, Amazon. E-cigarettes, a version of Electronic Cigarette, and they have vapes in here, just like everyone else. So pretty interesting here. Let's go down again. All right, so we've got seven, only, only seven results. The only page that doesn't have vape in their, in their title are these guys right here. It's the only guys. So I would probably use something very similar to what they're using as far as title and H tags, but I'll probably throw vapes in the title as well. And that's, it's as easy as that. Okay, I've made changes like this on client sites and my own sites, and I see massive movement overnight. There's some niches right now where, so let me give you an example. I'm in a niche where, Having the keyword once in the title was what was really working well. Okay, so if you had the keyword once in the title, it was really working well. If you had it more than that, you, you typically got slammed down to the bottom. When the core update hit, they reversed it for this niche. So all the websites that moved up, like overdid their title and their optimization. They had the keyword like two, even sometimes three times in the title with LSI versions as well. And those websites moved up were the ones that were more under optimized moved down. When I analyzed and I redid my title, I moved up two, three pages after the title changed, like within days. So this is a very underestimated concept that works extremely well. Whenever you're going after a keyword, pay attention to the most important on-page factors, which are these right here. Analyze the competition for the keywords you're doing, pay attention to what they're using, and then structure your page around what they do. When an update comes, if you drop or for whatever reason, pay attention to the changes in the titles and the H tags of the pages that are ranking. Structure your title around what most of the first page has. You also need to consider the authority when it comes to this though. Like if you have like uh, Business Insider and uh, Wikipedia and things like that, you're gonna ignore those sites because they can get away with different rules. You're paying attention more to the niche sites. And we pretty much saw all the niche sites here. Uh, there wasn't any like Wikipedia or anything. So I don't have any, any examples for Amazon. So I pretty much ignore Amazon. But everyone else, is lower authority niche sites who are paying attention to what they're doing, stealing their titles, stealing their on-page content, especially if you find a page like this, which is really low authority, you wanna structure your page pretty much exactly like they are, because there's there's a reason they're here and it's likely that. And then of course, you know, just going further down this, you would research what type of domains they have going to their domain and try to go get the same uh, links as well, right? So hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is a super simple way to increase your, your SEO and your traffic very quickly, and it works extremely well.